some changes were made recently in regards to uh, the 145 rule and looks like a little bit of mixed blessings. Can you address what we can realistically expect from the new rule? Sure. And, and, and first of all, I've got to start out by saying thank you. Uh, we've addressed this over the past couple of years during the NPRM process and getting the comments was so important. The reality of, of, of the challenges and where the FA missed the mark in their proposal. Uh, the comments came in, 230 comments came in. And it's a half, half full, half empty. We, we, the public, really captured a lot of the challenges of difference ratings, the industry, uh, the rating system didn't address the industry. All of those things went away. Um, what resided, though, were some critical issues. First of all, the FA really ratcheted up the regulations on falsification. I don't have a lot of patience for shops that lie. I'm sure the public doesn't either. It is regulatory now that you can lose your certificates for lying and falsifying records. They've cleaned up some of the application regulations. If you are a bad character, if you are one of the challenges of this industry, you're going to be challenged to keep a certificate and you're going to be challenged to get a new one. We don't have a lot of problems with that. Those are okay. Not a whole lot different than what the FA currently has for the air carrier community. There's a lot of airtime over those things, but honestly, I think they're pretty solid items. Where the shops do have to pay attention, though, is that there's some subtle changes in the qualification of supervisor and in final inspectors, in that there was an error in the original 2001 rulemaking where the lawyers eliminated appropriately rated and the regulators put it back in. And so now the rule says that you have to have appropriately certificated mechanics and repairmen. In the avionics industry, you don't think much about that except a certificated mechanic has certain limitations and one of them has to do with instruments. So an airframe mechanic quite possibly would not be an appropriately certificated mechanic for certain instrument jobs. The other thing is, is that there's a subtle change to the training program. I almost had to laugh when this one came out because it said not only do you have to have a training program, which is what the original rule said, my goodness, you actually have to use it. But really, that's about the scope of it. There's subtleties to it. It'll mean changes to our programs. It might mean some changes in the language of our repair station manuals, but nothing that isn't realistic and justified. The major issue we had on the original proposal was is that when the FAA goes in to restrict future certificates because of revocation, in the original proposal they also said that the person responsible for the revocation would be essentially blackballed from the industry. You wouldn't be able to hold those certificates. We understood what the FAA was trying to do, but there was no due process to that. Mm -hmm. Industry won a big win on this because they did retain those language, but they added the fact that during the process of the investigation for a revocation, they will also do a investigation of the responsible parties. And so those people will be identified through due process as part of this function. It won't be an arbitrary item. And that's, that's huge. That's a major win for industry on this one. Aero TV is brought to you by Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.